A major departure from Manchester United is on the cards, with Mason Greenwood finally being reliably linked with a move away. Italian transfer insider Gianluca Di Marzio reports that Serie A side Lazio have begun contact with Greenwood and United. Lazio are interested in the United Academy product and only coach Maurizio Sarri's approval remains before moving ahead with the deal. The player is also open to moving to Italy, which is completely understandable since it has been previously reported that Premier League clubs have been scared off of Greenwood. Despite the charges being withdrawn against him, signing Greenwood has the potential to become a public relations nightmare. It was part of the reason why United reportedly made a U-turn after initially being open to the idea of Greenwood returning. With his spell at United coming to an end, finding a new club for him was proving to be difficult, with many teams reportedly snubbing the chance to sign him due to the public optics. Therefore, interest from Lazio will come as a huge opportunity for United and the player as well. Sari is widely regarded as a striker whisperer, with the likes of Dryas Mertens, Lorenzo Insigne and Gonzalo Higuain having the best seasons of their careers under the Italian manager. Moving away from England will also ensure that the glare of the public eye is lessened for the player, who will undoubtedly have a hard time returning to action. So far, it is unclear what the financial terms of the deal will be, if any. Still, just the spectre of Greenwood's shadow being removed from the club will arguably be worth it, just so every party involved can move forward. Fiorentina star and reported Manchester United target Sofian Amrabat has rejected a move to Fulham as he's only interested in an old Trafford switch before the window closes. Even after Mason Mount's arrival, Eric Ten Hag continued pursuing further midfield reinforcements with Amrabat, his main target. A report covered by the People's Person indicated that United had a loan offer for the Fiorentina star rejected. It was subsequently relayed that the Red Devils remain in talks with the Serie A Giants in an attempt to find a solution which could come in the form of an initial loan with an obligation to ultimately make the move permanent. La Viola are open to such an arrangement. Alfredo Padula recently broke the news that Fulham lodged a 30 million euros bid for the Moroccan. However, according to Florian Plettenberg, Amrabat has turned the cottages down as he is not inclined to join them. They're not the first Premier League side to try and hijack United's move for the 27-year-old. Nottingham Forest made a similar attempt. Like Fulham, Amrabat turned them away. Such is his desire and determination to become the latest addition to Ten Hag's ranks. Plettenberg explains, Sofian Amrabat won't join Fulham. Instead, Fiorentina and Man UTD are in concrete talks now about a possible transfer of the 27-year-old. This is backed by Foot Mercato journalist Santi Auna, who mentions, Fiorentina and Manchester UTD are still working to find a solution for Sofian Amrabat. The Moroccan is not interested in Fulham. He also refused West Ham, Nottingham Forest and Al Ali in the last weeks. As per transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, the midfielder will not entertain overtures from elsewhere while the Red Devils are still within a chance of landing his services. He will wait until the end. It's now up to United to propose terms that will prove acceptable to all parties concerned. Ten Hag clearly wants the player. Manchester United have secured another signing in this transfer window. The worst kept secret is out as Manchester United confirmed Alte Bayendir is a United player. Bayendir comes from the Turkish club Fenerbahce and is expected to be the backup to Andre Onana, effectively replacing Dean Henderson in that role. The Turkish club will receive a fee of £4.3 million for his services. Upon joining, Bayendir said it is a huge honour to join Manchester United and become the first Turkish player 
to represent the club. I will give everything to help this special group of players to achieve our ambitions, he added. United had been on the lookout for a cheap goalkeeping option once it became clear that Henderson's future was away from the club. Furthermore, the need for a genuine no two to Anana became pressing once it became clear that the Cameroonian might leave United for some time due to his recall to the national team. Bindir was once highly rated in Turkey, but a rough couple of seasons have his stock at an all-time low. However, the club and the manager clearly believe there is talent in the player. Therefore, this move by United is effectively moving for a distressed asset. As the backup goalkeeper, Bindir will arguably not play more than 10 games across all competitions at a stretch. At the same time, United will rest safe, knowing that a genuine option is in their ranks who has clarity over his role, while also being good enough to deputise. His signing will probably begin a frantic end to the transfer window for United, who are also close to confirming the signing of Sergio Regulon on loan and remain in the chase for Sofian Amrabat. To get every Man United transfer news and updates, kindly subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and also leave your comment as well. Thank you for watching.